is there uh, something that you've heard or have been batted about a little bit? You know, the little the rumor mill that's going on. Has there been something you have heard that may be a shocker, let's say, in the top 10 picks that you've heard about? Well, I think, you know, the big report that was kind of swirling around yesterday is a different look at the top three that there's some projections out there that say Trayvon Walker's going number one, but then it's Kayvon Thibodeau that's going number two with Aiden Hutchinson on the board and then Derek Stingley going number three. And if that happens, you say to yourself, whoa, 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 hold on. Where's Aiden Hutchinson going? Because at that point for the New York Jets, we know they like Ike Aquanu, but has Aiden Hutchinson changed the formula for them? Do they like Aiden more than they like Ike? Maybe they stick with Ike Aquanu. Maybe they think that he's so high on their board they can't miss on him. Then what do the Giants do? Are they taking Aiden Hutchinson? And so all of a sudden, that <laughs> is one of those things where it really throws a wrench into what could be the trickle-down effect if the draft starts like that. You know, I'm very curious to see what the Seattle Seahawks do at number nine overall. Are they a team that's going to trade up? I don't think they're a team that's going to trade back. They've gotten so much back from the Russell Wilson trade. But how aggressive are they going to be? And we just we don't have a lot of historical answers, guys, because they never pick in the top ten. Ever since they've had Russell Wilson, they've never been a team that has picked this high. So now they've got a quarterback need. They've got a lot of other needs as well. What is Seattle, an unknown team, going to do? And, look, they could move up a couple of spots. Maybe they like Derek Stingley. Maybe they like Kayvon Thibodeau. We've heard some whisperings of that as well. But, guys, I'll tell you, the ultimate wild card I feel in this class is Trevor Penn. Because the offensive tackle from Northern Iowa, I feel as though a lot of teams love him. Right after the Senior Bowl and right after the Combine, we saw a couple of mock drafts with him going into top ten. Number seven overall to the New York Giants, if that's the way they wanted to go. To, to nine to the Seahawks, eight to the Atlanta Falcons, right? And so I've seen his name all over the place. The range for that prospect is very vast, and he plays a premium position at offensive tackle that will obviously have a trickle down depending on how high he goes. So those are a handful of scenarios that I've seen over the last 24, 48 hours that could really shake up the status quo, if you will. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.